Welcome back to Lurgle Stories. My name's Logan. I'm glad you're here. Today we're going to be reading again from Mr. Hadlow Has. It will be the fourth story from this book. If you haven't seen the first three yet, then go to Lurgle Stories on YouTube and all the videos will be there for you to watch. Last time we heard about Mr. Hadlow's two daughters who had some dolls to play with and they got into a bit of mischief but I won't tell you everything just in case you haven't seen the story yet. So today we are going to be reading a story called Mr. Hadlow has two dogs. Now we all love dogs don't we? Before we get started we'll say a big thank you to Austin Macaulay Publishers for letting us read this book and there'll be a link in the description below this video if you want to go and buy a copy for yourself. And while you're there remember to subscribe to Lurgle Stories so that you don't miss any stories. Let's begin. Mr. Hadlow has two dogs. Their names are Cromwell and Gus. The dogs are brothers and both look a bit like Harry McClary from Donaldson's Dairy. Those are good stories to go and read if you haven't read them already. Gus is slightly bigger than Cromwell. The dogs sleep in a big wicker basket in the dining room and enjoy chasing each other around Mr. Hadlow's back garden. Mr. Hadlow also has two chickens. Their names are Athena and Lucy. Athena and Lucy were rescued from a battery farm where they used to be kept in tiny cages. They didn't have many feathers when they lived on the battery farm, but now they have a healthy brown red plumage. The chickens now live in a big chicken coop in Mr. Hadlow's back garden. They lay eggs on most days. Every day, Athena and Lucy are let out of their coop to strut around the garden, picking and pecking for seeds, plants and worms. Cromwell and Gus sometimes try to chase the chickens, Athena and Lucy, around the back garden. The dogs like to bite the chickens' tails. <gasps> they also like to sneak into the chicken's coop and have a sniff around. One day, Mr. Hadlow found broken eggshells at the bottom of his garden. He realised that Cromwell and Gus had taken freshly laid eggs from Athena and Lucy's coop carried them to the bottom of the garden, in their mouths, and eaten them in secret. The chickens were not pleased. Eventually, Athena and Lucy became tired of Cromwell and Gus chasing them around the garden and stealing their eggs. The chickens decided to fight back. <gasps> The next time Cromwell and Gus decided to chase the chickens, Athena and Lucy stood still and pecked at the dogs. The dogs were surprised. They barked at Athena and Lucy, but the chickens stood still and pecked back hard. Cromwell and Gus backed off and moved away from the chickens. The dogs then decided to go and have a look around the chicken's coop to see if they had laid any eggs. To the dogs' further surprise, the chickens chased them. Athena and Lucy quickly strutted up to the dogs and pecked their bottoms hard. <gasps> the dogs ran from the coop, yelping and Athena and Lucy sat happily on their eggs. 
Later that day, the dogs, Cromwell and Gus, were chasing each other around the garden, but became worn out because the afternoon was getting warm. The clouds had parted and the sun was shining brightly. Cromwell and Gus needed a drink and to look for some shade. They wandered indoors to their water bowl and lapped up the water until their bowls were dry. The dogs then made their way to their big wicker basket in the dining room where they wanted to lie down and have a sleep. But when they got there, they couldn't get in their basket because the chickens, Athena and Lucy, were sitting in it on the dog's cushion. The dogs barked loudly at the chickens, but Athena and Lucy didn't move. Cromwell and Gus stared at the sitting chickens, but Athena and Lucy just stared back. Time passed. The dogs stared. The chickens stared. No dog or chicken moved. Mr. Hadlow watched the dogs standing and staring and the chickens sitting in the dog's basket and laughed. Mr. Hadlow left the dining room and went to the kitchen to make a cup of tea. Ten minutes later, Mr. Hadlow went back to the dining room to see how things were. To his surprise, he found the dogs, Cromwell and Gus, squeezed into their basket, cuddled up to the chickens, Athena and Lucy. The chickens were happily clucking gently and the dogs were settling down to sleep. Wasn't that a nice story? The dogs were very cheeky to steal the eggs, but Athena and Lucy managed to keep them away from them and then they got a bit of revenge and went to steal the dog's bed. I'm glad they ended up friends in the end. Animals like being friends together eventually, I think. Do you have any pets? Are they friends with each other? Or are they cheeky to each other? I'll see you next time on Lurgle Stories. Bye for now.